Do you like dealing big damage? Do you suck at hitscan aiming? Do you want to get the most out of the fairest mechanic in the game? If you've answered yes to those questions, then the Moman is the perfect class for you. <laughs> oh, they're going to have to glue you back together in hell! In this video, I'm going to teach you the basics of Demoman. It is quite a tricky class to pick up because it's purely projectile based, and his playstyle is pretty different compared to what you do in other conventional FPS games. So I hope my guide can help you improve at this class and get the most fun out of TF2 in general. Before getting into the gameplay, let's talk about the settings first. Use Master Config. It makes your game run faster, optimizes the internet settings, and can simply allow you to play better. It is extremely important. Every pro player out there is using a config of some sort, so be sure to use Master Config. If you don't know how to install it, then just Google it. I'm sure you have internet access, right? And apart from making your game run quicker, using the right weapon can also make you get more kills. The Iron Bomber is a side grade that is a lot more reliable than the stock grenade launcher. It has a hidden set that makes the hitbox of its pipes 8 times larger than normal, allowing you to deal damage more consistently. Be sure to equip it, and if you don't have it, just borrow it from the Manku store for free. Now, let's move on and talk about the role of the Scottish Demolition Man. Demo Man is a power class that thrives in team fights because of his massive damage output and his weapon's gigantic clip size. With a stock loadout, he can fire 12 explosives before reloading, which is quite insane, maybe even overpowered. But his power does come at a cost. Being a purely projectile based class, it is harder for him to do instant and reliable damage. So Demo kinda sucks when he's like 1v1ing others. As a demo man, you have two weapons, the grenade launcher and the sticky bomb launcher. Let's talk about this one first. This thing here fires sticky bombs. They are projectiles with an arc that do not explode on contact, but instead can be detonated manually with a right click. It is a flexible weapon that can basically deal with everything. You can charge stickies and snipe others, you can use it to bomb people. You can hold mouse 2 to spam them. You can set up traps. And even if you miss a sticky, it can still be used to deal damage as long as it is not detonated. If you want to escape from an enemy, you can put a sticky between you and your foe to scare them away. But of course, be sure to detonate the sticky if your enemy is stupid enough to try to come for you. So, now we know how useful the sticky bomb launcher is, but how, how do we use it then? Well, since it can do so much, there really isn't a definitive and exact way on how to use it. If you can use it to deal damage, then you're kinda doing it right already. It is actually really hard to explain and it heavily relies on instincts. But just get into a game, pull out your sticky bomb launcher and spam mouse 1 and 2 repeatedly. Trust me, you'll get the hang of it real soon. By the way, you might find that the speed and arc of the stickies are really weird. The only way to overcome that is to use it more and practice more. If you need to, charge the stickies up by holding mouse 1 and give energy to your stickies. Doing that can allow you to increase its speed and send them to a further place. Compared to the sticky bomb launcher, the grenade launcher is much more simple. This weapon can fire pipes and it can deal 100 damage on contact. Pipes are also projectiles with an arc, so you gotta aim slightly higher and predict where your enemy is going. Predicting your enemy's movement is not rocket science. Pro players still miss pipes all the time, so the only advice that I can give you on hitting more pipes is to practice more and pay attention to your opponent's movement. Since stickies aren't quick enough for close quarters combat, this weapon is also amazing when you're challenged by somebody who comes close to you. But at mid to long range, pipes become like very very hard to hit, and it is best to go back to using stickies in these situations. When you're playing other classes such as Soldier, there would be an obvious primary and secondary weapon. 
In this case, the rocket launcher is the primary weapon and the shotgun is the secondary. You basically want to use the rocket launcher 90% of the time because it's reliable and heavy hitting. The shotgun should only be used when you've either ran out of rockets in your clip or the enemy is so close that you would hurt yourself if you shoot a rocket. However, for Demo Man, there's no weapon that suits all the situations like the rocket launcher can. I mean, the sticky bomb launcher is good about like 70% of the time, but the iron bomber still has to be whipped out when things are getting messy, aka people are getting close to you. So, the best way to play demo is to whip out whichever weapon that suits the situation. Sticky jumping is useful for rolling out and escaping from sticky situations. To sticky jump, you gotta put a sticky down, jump, hold crouch, and right click mid air. The timing and the position of you and your sticky determines how high or fast you go. Try to keep your jumps as low as possible to avoid taking too much fall damage. There are many more ways to sticky jump and it is an art of its own. Hence, I've put a sticky jumping tutorial down below if you guys are interested in learning it. Also, speaking of self-damage, pipes and stickies are explosives, so it's very easy to hurt yourself when you're using them. When you become so good that even you yourself cannot dodge your own pipes, you gotta soldier on and take the damage, or you know, just die. Theoretically, you can jump and crouch when you're piping someone point blank and kinda do a pseudo rocket jump so that you can escape from danger, but this is really hard to pull off and it's pretty situational. Other than that, you can pull out your bottle, or in my case, you know, my meat, and uh, try to avoid taking self-damage with a melee weapon. It doesn't really work all that well, but it is what melee weapons are, right? Like, a last resort. And that's why it's better to respect someone's personal space and try not to get too close and blow them up from afar. Although Demo can fire 12 explosives without reloading, it is still too easy to spend all of your ammo when spamming right click and left click all the time. And the reloading animation is often painfully long. So remember to not fire all of your pipes and stickies too early. You should try to keep some pipes or stickies in your clip in case someone wants to get close and kill you. Also, be sure to spend some time on reloading. I know it's hard to resist the temptation of spamming all your explosives towards your enemies but reloading your stinkies in a row, it's a lot better than shooting once, and then reloading once again, and then shooting once, and then reloading once again and again. Try to pay attention to your ammo count as much as you can, and, you know, use a custom HUD to make the ammo count bigger if you want to do so. As mentioned before, when you're too close to your enemy, it is really easy to take self-damage. But if you're too far away, it will take a long time for the projectiles to travel and it's really hard to hit people when you're far away. So, staying mid-range is the best bet for a demo man. You won't injure yourself easily and your projectiles can still do their work reliably. Unfortunately, mid-range is a very vague term and it is very difficult for me to explain to you on paper. To experience what this mid-range is exactly, I suggest jumping into a game and learning the basics in action. And that brings me to the next point, that is, Demo Man can only be learned through experience and developing projectile instincts. It requires a lot of luck and guessing, therefore to improve at Demo Man, just practice and play the game. But before you go and actually do that, I have a Twitch channel and I'd really really appreciate it if you drop a follow and tune into my streams. To get stream notifications, be sure to join my Discord server also. It's free and I would really really appreciate it if you join. With that being said, like the video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the best.